Hey y'all, it's Captain Shane, uh, Griffinless Fishing. Today, uh, I'm scouting. Uh, I got booked for a fly fishing trip tomorrow, uh, so I'm scouting today. Uh, we got a few things, we got a couple things working for us, and then a couple things working against us. The things we got working against us is the wind is blowing. Y'all can probably tell. The wind's blowing pretty hard. Uh, so what, what's that, what that's gonna do is gonna put ripples on the water, makes, makes it hard to see the fish. And also, um, it makes it hard to cast for fly fishing, unless you're a pro like some of these dudes are. And uh, also, it's going to dirty up the water. But we're going to look today and see what we can find. The things we got going for us is the, it's the sun shining. There's hardly any clouds at all in the sky. You want that sun shine when you're sight fishing. You want to be able to see the fish. Um, I'm back here in the marsh. I've already scouted a little bit today. Uh, I've seen three fish. I've seen three redfish all day. Only one of those, uh, I had a slight chance before he, he got there to, to make a presentation to him. But anyway, we're gonna go back here in this marsh and uh, see how we do. You really want to, when it's windy like this, you wanna get back in that marsh, find some clean water. If you're in the open water, it's gonna get dirty. So you want to get way back in the marsh as far as you can go. So that's what we're going to try to do. So uh, let's see how it goes. There he is. There he is. Go fly. A little Dupree gold spoon, baby. Alright y'all, so I was actually reeling, I reeled in because I was going to use my push pole to get me off this, this grass. And that red came swimming right in front of me. So I made a very, very short presentation and he grabbed that gold spoon. A lot of fun, a lot of fun.
lot bigger ones. A lot bigger one. All right, y'all. I'm hooked into a pretty good red. A little gold spoon. I have a I have a fly charter tomorrow. I came back in some places to to scout, and I have found them. Uh, this is the second one I've caught in just a few minutes, so I'm about to uh, roll out of here and not, not keep catching these fish. I'm going to save them for tomorrow. I said the last one was 24. Let's see what this one is. Come here, baby. Oh. Oh yeah, he's 20, 28 inches, so he's technically a bull red. He's a small bull, but we're gonna let him go. Beautiful fish, there's a whole bunch of them back here in this pond. Super windy day, the fishing's been tough actually. I, I ran all over this morning and I got back here and there was bait everywhere. And I just took my time and I started seeing redfish. All right, let's let him go. And he's gone already. Nice and healthy. Very good. All right, y'all, this is what we're catching them on right here. It's a little, show it to my YouTube camera first. It's a little Dupree uh, spoon fly. So it's a fly, but it's a spoon. And uh, just a tip. This thing, I, I use 30 pound leader. I know some people might not agree with that, but when you get out here and you start catching these big reds, you, you probably will too. Um, with that leader, it's fluorocarbon, but it's a little stiffer, obviously being 30 pound. So what you wanna do when you see these fish, you wanna either strip it kind of fast to make that spoon do its action or you can actually twitch your rod tip just a little bit right in front of the fish and they will eat it up y'all both both fish i've caught today because i've only caught two but both fish i've caught you know as soon as the spoon went in front of them they immediately grabbed it and that was it so this little area is slap full of redfish y'all but i'm just not going to mess with them anymore Stingray, I know y'all can't see it, but I'm gonna pull down right here for a second. There's gotta be some reds right here. There's a sheep head sitting right over there in the grass. He's just sitting there. See all kinds of stuff. One right there. You got it. He's got it.
Uh, I guess I found some more fish for tomorrow's charter. <laughs> Well, I could barely see him. He was in a little bit of grass feeding. I saw him kind of nosing down feeding. I dropped this little spoon right in front of me, ate it up. I usually let them take it for a second when I'm fly fishing. You know, the hooks a lot of times aren't very big on here. And uh, I don't want to take a chance of him of him not getting the hook i don't let him swallow it but i let him get it this one this one's not as big as the other two i've caught today it's it's still a good size redfish but i caught a 24 inch and a 28 inch earlier this one's not that big but hey it's a lot of fun if y'all go to grippinglipsfishing.com, you can book a trip. There's another redfish right here. Grippinglipsfishing.com, you can book a trip. My fall calendar is filling up pretty quick, y'all. October and November is absolutely outstanding. Come here, baby. a little bit of that dirt out of that net october november is outstanding y'all so i don't know if y'all can see it see the little gold spoon sticking out of his mouth it's a it's a fly but it's a spoon for for those of you that don't fly fish a lot it, it is a fly but it's a fly spoon it's called a dupree d-u-p-r-e dupree fly spoon they work. A little gold spoon. He looks about 17 inches. Let's see. Oh, he's bigger than that. That's, he's 20 inches. 20 inch redfish, y'all. Let's let him go. I might try to catch one more. Then I'm going to head home, y'all, because I done found a couple of good areas for tomorrow, and I don't want to screw them all up. He's gone.